He washes dishes and he mops up the floor. Well, he used to. And I thought Hope for Poplar is a kind of an overarching umbrella charity and it was it was brought together really to get churches to work together in the community. The food bank, uh, it was kind of um, in response to the uh, credit crunch in uh, 20, uh, yeah, 2008. Um, so it's been going nearly 10 years now um, and we initially thought of it as a kind of a crisis food bank like most food banks providing kind of three days of food for a family or an individual. Um, but over time we've noticed kind of a change that we're getting more people using it on a regular basis so we're still doing crisis food uh, but we're also getting some people returning because they might be in and out of low-income jobs struggling with the benefit system uh, etc so uh, essentially how it works is we deliver food to people's homes rather than people coming and collecting um, that model's about to change uh, but we've uh, had a fairly low throughput in, in the food bank in Belper and the Kilburn area, so maybe between 7 and 10 referrals a week. Uh, so we get different agencies uh, like the MAP team, multi-agency team, the job centre, the family centre, mental health nurses and so on and so forth. And they will refer to us uh, by phone and then we send one of our deliverers to come and pick up a box from the central store. Uh, and then they take it to the person who needs it, usually within the same day, which is great, which is what we wanted to do, kind of crisis-wise. Future plans, we think, are quite exciting. It's following a pattern of what other food banks are doing around the county, which is providing services above and beyond the simple food bank, because we didn't want to find ourselves in 10 years' time sort of just doing more of the same, uh, almost like a bit of a sticky plaster on problems, but actually saying, well, why are people feeling the need to regularly come to the food bank in Belper? Uh, and so stuff around employability, helping with the, the new universal credit rollout, which as we all know is, can be problematic for people. Um, all sorts of kind of life skills. We're all run, already running um, a debt counselling service and we're already running uh, a thing called uh, CAP Life Skills, which is an eight week course. And this all kind of already relates to the food bank in that we refer people to the, those other elements of what we do. But we also want to, as I say, look at employability and various other uh, skill factors that would hopefully enable people to start to deal with some of the issues that's, you know, that are bringing them along to the food bank in the first place. You know, if we've got a lot of beans and tomatoes and fish, you know, we can really do with sort of some pies and some tin meats and uh, some milk and uh, particularly we're short of at the moment of tin puddings. So we're trying to get that message across and partly you know, by doing something like this it's great to be able to both thank people for their support but also say you know these are the kinds of things we're really we're really short of so uh, yeah really just carry on doing what people are doing support us regularly uh, yeah so we've got obviously like a lot of organizations we've got a web page um, hopefelper.com um, and uh, we've also got a Facebook page so you could go to either of those and we're hoping to get a donation button on there as well so people have been incredibly supportive with donations of food but as we shift to the new model, uh, we may well be looking to employ somebody to look after the, the, the process of our new sessions and the new food bank um, uh, as, as, we, as we sort of see it going into 2019. Um, so, you know, we really appreciate both food donations and cash donations if people feel it's something that they would like to support. Dobshire, Dobshire. 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 Dobsh